Good morning, Kaufman. Today's Thursday, October 13th. I'm Michael. And I'm John. And you're watching Kaufman Live. I'm Paige. I'm Nick. I'm Ennis. I'm Kyle. I'm Riley, and you're watching. I'm Abby, and you're watching Kaufman. I'm Ellie, and you're watching Kaufman. I'm Michael, and you're watching Kaufman. I'm Will, and you're watching Kaufman. I'm Patrick, and you're watching Kaufman. I'm Taylor, and you're watching Kaufman. I'm Mark, and you're watching Kaufman Live. I'm Kylie, and you're watching Kaufman Live. I'm John, and you're watching Kaufman Live. I'm Eric, and you're watching Kaufman Live. I'm Liz, and you're watching Kaufman Live. I'm Audra, and you're watching Kaufman Live. John, I, uh, I really like your glasses. I appreciate that. I really do. Thank you. You kind of look like, um, let's face, Clark, Clark Kent. Clark Kent. Yes, Superman. I do. Oh. Not Superman. Clark Kent and Superman, two different guys. <laughs> 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 Cooking Club is meeting tomorrow in 8112 at 2.50 p.m. to make apple cobbler. Dues are only $10 if you want to become a member. The following universities will be here today. Furman University and Bluffton University. Are you interested in Key Club? Here's a video for more. In the last segment of Club Connections for the quarter, DCTV talks with two of Dublin Kaufman Key Club's co-presidents. Uh, Key Club is a national service organization where kids dedicate their time to their local community through volunteer work and work volunteer work at school. They informed us when and where the club holds their meeting. And we have meetings every other Thursday at 7.20 in the lecture hall, and occasionally we have a Key Club social after school uh, where we have free food and free fun. Lastly, they informed us of their upcoming events. So some upcoming events are spectacular, uh, trick-or-treat so kids can eat, and the Columbus Marathon. We hope, hope to, to see you at, at the next, next meeting. <laughs> Multicultural Club will meet today after school in B263 to discuss how ideas, uh, issues of sustainability are affecting culture around the world. If you are interested in the environment or culture, you should attend. Free ACT prep sessions are being offered by Dublin City Schools for all Dublin students registered to take the ACT next Saturday, October 22nd. The sessions are offered online so that you can view, access and view it at your own convenience and at your own pace. Uh, Pre-registration is required to receive online ac access instructions. Visit the guidance office for more information. Attention all Interact Club members. Our next general meeting will be held today in the lecture hall after school. We will be packaging snacks for the Ronald McDonald House as well as discussing upcoming events. All members will receive one half hour for bringing in non-perishable items for the snack packs. Don't forget your dues and see you soon. For more information, check your email or follow us on Facebook. It has been a great start to Read Week, but it's not over. Thank you again for this video for more. DCTV sat down with Mrs. Costello to talk about what's going on in the library this week. Teen Read Week is, is actually a national reading program sponsored by the American Library Association. And since we are a school library, we are sort of affiliated with uh, the American School Library Association. To promote the joy of reading and the fun of it, um, we do something special in the library. And this year's theme was read for the fun of it. So we took that idea of having fun and made an actual arcade of games. So that when you come into the library, we have a board over here that says that you need to use your social media to say something you know, positive about reading or literacy. And that is your entryway into the arcade. So once you're in the arcade, everybody um, is taking some time to play some of the different games. And if you win, if you win at your game, then you can win a treat. So it's really all about drawing attention to reading for fun and, and having fun in the library. Now over to Crazy Kylie with sports. Field hockey beat Sayota 2-1 to one last night. Great job, girls. Today, girls tennis plays in districts at Hilliard-Davidson, and tonight, boys soccer, volleyball, and girls soccer are all in action against Upper Arlington. Boys soccer travels to UA at 7, while volleyball and girls soccer host the Bears. Both girls teams are celebrating their senior night. Volleyball senior announcements start around 6.30, followed by the game around 7, and girls soccer senior announcements start around 6.45, followed by the game around 7.15. Here's a video with more. Big game this Friday night. Your Rocks will take on the Hilliard-Davidson Wildcats. Football pre-sale tickets will be available today through Friday during lunch in the Rock Shop. Student ticket prices is $4 and adult ticket is $6. Freshman Mike Drennan is having a blowout season 
for the football team. DCTV's Mark had the chance to sit down with him. Let's take a look. Kaufman Football rising star Mike Drennan, also known as Donut, has been bringing success to Kaufman Football this season. Donut explains what it's like to be a freshman on the varsity team. My experience as a freshman on varsity has been very like welcoming because it's been very different in middle school for sure because the work is way harder and it's actually been good because the team welcomes you like a lot, a lot. His first year in high school football, Donut has made the transition from running back to slot. Making my transition from a running back to a slot has been pretty easy because I've been catching the ball all my life, to be honest, like in Little League football. I've been a pretty good catcher and at like combines and stuff, you run routes a lot, so it's been pretty easy. Mike explains how he got the nickname Donut. Actually, it was my dad's name, like when he was uh, younger. I guess his uncle just started calling him it, so he just passed it to me. Donut has a promising future and already has a college offer from the University of Kentucky. Now I, you offer, know. I have made a promise to myself that I will go to the football camp and do as good as I can and I will come up with an offer. And I guess I did. And I was sort of surprised. I was very surprised actually. And it was just unexplainably the best feeling ever. That's all I got for sports. Now back to the desk. That's all you got, Kaufman. Thanks for watching. Oh, God, again.